Hey everybody, hope you are doing good and welcome to the talking part of the Zenit Amplitude Controller by Hamstead Soundworks. I'm going to talk a bit more about the features of the pedal and what I think about it. Uh, the video is sponsored as you might have already seen, but they are not paying me for any opinions, good or bad. I think the concept of a pedal with a boost, EQ and compression all in one is very interesting. And I think this is something that we will see more of in the future. And the reason for that is because getting more of your desired tone is often more than just volume. When you turn up an amp, there's more stuff going on than just more decibel. And to make a pedal that sort of recreates turning up a tube amplifier requires more than just volume. You have some natural uh, compression going on there when the signal overdrives and the frequencies are often changing or at least how they are perceived by your ears. So I think having compression together with an EQ and a boost is very clever. And you can use this in many different ways. You could just use it as a very simple volume boost. You could use this to just enhance your tone, make it more like you have been in a high-end studio. Or you could use it as I prefer to use this one uh, as an always on pedal that is kind of simulating that my amp is working harder than it actually is because I'm limited by volume. And I really think that Hampstead, they have thought about everything with this pedal. You can choose if you want the compressor to be first and then going into the EQ or if you want the EQ first, you can also run them in parallel, which is quite unique. What I really like about the pedal is that it never really gets harsh when you turn up the treble or if you remove all the bass. Um, it works in basically every single setting. Yes, it can sound very different, but you have the option to be very different without it being harsh, ice picky, too boomy or whatever. Uh, you have a lot of control of the mids since you can control what mid frequencies you want to boost and how wide or narrow you want the bandwidth to be with this one. And as you probably heard in the demo, when you are boosting the right uh, mid frequencies, uh, it also sort of acts like a, a gain knob and you get a really overdriven characteristics and that's also something that I really dig about the Zenith. Personally, I think it's good that they have like a one knob compressor going on. That is something that I prefer with compressors. Uh, also when it comes to plugins, I want them to be really simple to work with. I don't really mind that the manufacturer is doing some of the choices for me. You can get everything from a very subtle compressor to quite a lot when you turn it uh, all the way up, but it never gets like too rubber bandy and that's also a good thing in my opinion. And by the way, if you missed that in the demo, you can choose to only use the compressor or EQ on their own. And there are different switching options if you wanna go from the other directly to the other one or go from one to both. And yeah, you can basically choose whatever you want to. In the demo, I showed you how they sound together because that's what I think is most interesting. It looks amazing to me. It looks studio grade. It could be like a big rack thingy. And I also think it sounds great. That should be pretty obvious by now. It sounds studio grade. I know that's sort of a buzzword in the industry right now, but I really think it does and it lives up to how it looks and what they are promising of the Zenith. And yeah, I'm totally in love with this pedal. I really like to use it together with an overdrive pedal. I've talked about this a million times now, how you can use a boost together with an overdrive pedal and how that makes the sound more three dimensional. And for me, this is the always on pedal from now on. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video informational. If you did so, please give it a like and maybe 
you want to subscribe to this channel so you can see more of uh, content like this in the future. Thank you and goodbye.